friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a try on Sephora haul show me what you got uh, type of video today and I am so excited to share everything that I picked up during the Sephora sale this spring. I feel like last fall I reined it in a little bit and I didn't spend too much money but this time around I was feeling a little adventurous. Um, I am trying new things so kind of let loose a little bit. Before we begin however I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel or those of you who are you know coming back for more. Welcome, my name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Today we are talking makeup, hair, body, fragrance even. So let's start. This table is a hot, hot mess. I thought I was being organized today. Apparently I am not. This wouldn't be a uh, Sephora sale haul without me mentioning the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. Yes, I restocked. Um, I am almost out of the unit that I am currently using. I am not going to show you applying my deodorant. Um, I think that some things are, are better left off the internet. This is my deodorant of choice. It keeps the odor away. I wouldn't say so much the, the dampness or the wetness, um, but it does keep the odors away and it is a clean deodorant. This is a cream deodorant, so it did take a little bit for my body to just kind of adjust to having a cream instead of like secret. Um, and I, it did take my body a while to kind of uh, get used to a clean deodorant. Uh, but I have been using this I think since it launched to be honest and I have not looked back. I will say, as I said in my, my Sephora sale rec video, which I will link up above in case you missed it, that if you live in hotter, uh, more humid climates, this may not work out for you. I did take this to New York one or two years ago, and it, it was so hot and humid over there that I, I found myself kind of uh, smelling a little BO-like and just sweating excessively. So, if you live in humid, hotter climates, maybe try something else. Um, but if you live in the dry desert, kind of like California can be, this is a good, good deodorant, which I love. I've been purchasing forever and ever. Love it. I did take this with me to vacation as well. Um, I'll try to share a short of my vacation since I, since I do keep referencing it uh, in these videos. So I'll try to um, film a short about my vacation and I did take this over there and it was hot. It was summertime where I went so um, I did take this and it was worked very very beautifully. Just close to the equator so in case that makes a difference. And yes, my eye is tearing once again because that's that's what that's what we do here. This was a late purchase. I stopped by the Sephora store uh, yesterday and I had this specific item in my cart, but when I made my online order, I took it out. I was like, who needs SPF, huh? Um, I have plenty of SPF. I love SPF. The one that I'm currently using is the Dr. Loretta New Mineral Sunscreen, and I do use the Drunk Elephant uh, Sunscreen on my face when I work out and on my body when I go out for walks. Um, but I went to the Sephora store. They still had this in stock. I swatched it on the back of my hand, and I was so so impressed. Hopefully I filmed myself applying this. Um, I am talking about the Kosa's Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen. This left the back of my hand looking oh so luminous, so juicy, so plump, so alive. I was like, well, I'm not thinking about this again. And we just added it to shopping cart, shopping bag. But check out the packaging is, of course, very, very beautiful. I am living for the Kosas pink, like 
dreamy orange kind of packaging that they do in their skincare, which has me wondering if I should try any of the other Kosas skincare products. Let me know if you have in the comments down below. Am I missing out? Because this is a beautiful mineral sunscreen. It has uh, mineral SPF, ceramides, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and allantoin. Uh, you can wear alone or as a perfect base for makeup. So you'll see me applying this over the skin. It is what I am wearing underneath all of the makeup today. And I just loved how this looked on the back of my hand. Now, I did not stop there. Um, as I was perusing the aisles at Sephora, I did swatch this. I did swatch the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint over this, yes, I'm trying to find my words here, over this, and my mind was blown. It looked so, so good. So I did try this combo for a dog walk today because I am struggling with, I think I like cut myself or, you know, did a horrible job at extracting something. So I had a huge scab, which I took off. Um, do not recommend that you do that. So I was struggling. I didn't want to go on a dog walk just a bare faced after I had tried these two together at the Sephora store. Just beautiful, beautiful. So if you have this, try it over this and you are going to have juicy, luminous, refreshed looking, plump to die for skin. And then I did come back and reapply because I worked out some more after I came back from my dog walk and it reapplied beautifully. It didn't feel heavy. I don't think it felt sticky to be honest. I don't quite remember. Um, but this does have a bit of a like a sunscreeny type scent, something I definitely noticed, but it's not off-putting or a turnoff for me personally. If scents bother you, although I, I don't smell this any longer because there are so many other smells happening around here right now, um, I would perhaps swatch before adding to cart. This may be my favorite sunscreen of the year, maybe. I'm just, I'll just watch a little bit of it. There is a bit of a tint to it, and then there is a bit of a tint, but it goes on clear. And I didn't quite notice a white cast, and I am medium toned skin so deeper tone friends maybe you want to tread lightly um, or do a swatch before you add to cart um, but yeah it is a beautiful formula really really enjoyed that I did also do a swatch of super goop glow something I did add it to my loves because I really enjoyed oh no I added it to cart <laughs> Uh, Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen SPF 40 PA++++ with Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide and Golden Hour. Oh my god. Beautiful product. May, may, may put an additional order in for that. Do not know. But Golden Hour, what a beautiful, beautiful shade. So in case you, you know, you don't want to invest in two products, probably try... If you love a glowy, luminous uh, SPF. Um, next up, uh, I did film a short for uh, Armani uh, Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. They uh, sent over 5.9, shade 5.9, which is medium neutral. And I perhaps, I color, color matched myself thinking that that would be the shade that works for me. But that was too, I feel, light for me. So walked into the Sephora store and I um, color matched myself again. And I picked up the shade 6.5. Did I need a new foundation? Absolutely not. Um, I have been having a deep, furious love affair with the House Laboratories uh, Foundation because it is just fantastic. That is until I tried this. Now this, again, I picked up the shade myself, 6.5. This is medium neutral tan, perhaps. The formula in this is magnificent. It is lightweight. It is, just as the name says it, 
silky. The thing I do have with that is that I feel like it's it doesn't offer me the same coverage as the House Labs foundation where I can truly get away with uh, just using half a pub to cover my entire face. And as you can see in um, my swatch video where I am moving and grooving to Becky G because yes, I am watching the Coachella live stream again. I was listening to Becky G and I think she was doing a tribute to Selena and it looked like half of the people there didn't know Selena song so that was kind of sad but you know she does have a much younger demographic I think. Where was I going with this? So yes during uh, the swatch or the demo portion you can see uh, that I use well over a pump maybe a pump and a half of this foundation. So I can see myself running through this so quickly. But I will say that the shade 6.5 color matched me perfectly, if I do say so myself. I did go ahead and use it with the uh, Luminous Silk Concealer in 4.5, which I think just looks so good. This concealer as well is very, very good. I do find that it creases here if I do use it as an eye shadow base, but under the eyes, it just works so beautifully. I do not know if, if Armani Beauty is, is cruelty free. I do know that the foundation, there is no fragrance to it. And I think that was my biggest fear. I have heard loads and loads of people brave about this foundation. The texture I feel like is unlike anything I've ever felt, but my biggest fear was uh, fragranced. Fragranced foundations just do not work out for me. I feel like I did try perhaps a Chanel or a Dior that was heavily fragranced and it literally broke me out in a rash. So that had to uh, either be returned. This is not scented. So if that's your biggest fear in trying this, it's not scented. The price tag is quite, quite heavy. So this is definitely luxury. I would say if, if um, luxury foundations aren't your, your jam, I would say that the True Match L'Oreal foundation from the drugstore um, has about, I feel like, the same type of feel, but the texture is different. So it feels about the same on the skin, but texturally as you are applying it, as you pump it onto the back of your hand, it is completely different. I will say that I loved uh, this so, so much that I had to go out and get the correct shade for me. Next, I picked up the LYS Beauty No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. The packaging here is very, very interesting as far as, as far as like, you know, unpacking it. But this is what the product looks like and I did use this for the uh, uh, for the day. I have been wanting this so badly since last year and I just could never really pull the trigger until the sale. I was like, we are adding to cart and you are staying there. I just loved how I was able to create this base um, just by using this. I was very, very intimidated as you can probably tell in the demo um, just because the shape is quite interesting and it deposits so much Color. Uh, I feel like it's the perfect color match for me. Um, I did do a swatch of this because I hadn't opened this until today, but I did swatch it on the back of my hand and I did swatch the new Tower 28 um, contour pots as well. And I was like, oh my god, am I going to love the color 20, the Tower 28 more than the one I ordered? But then I swatched this one and I was like, no, I think I made the right choice. Even though the Tower 28 ones are so good as well, I swatched it over the sunscreen. Yes, yes I did. And both products just looked so good. So if you're torn between either, I feel like this might just be easier to apply because it's in a stick form. And I do like applying um, just like bronzer here just to kind of lift up the, the face a little bit. So really, really like this so far. Um, I feel like um, there's a user on Instagram, I would say a friend, uh, Beta. When I first saw that she had this, I was like, oh my God, I've been dying to have this to own this in my cart and she said that this just elevates her makeup look so so much and I 
have to agree with her. I feel like it's more refined. It looks more blended. It looks amazing. And then I did use the stick with the Merit uh, brush. Love. Um, and the foundation, I will say that I love using this Morphe brush for it. Um, I feel like if I were to apply it with a blender, it would shear the foundation out more and that is not what I want. I guess if I were to call something out is that this doesn't give me as much coverage as I have been used to with the House Labs foundation. And then I did pick up the Sephora brand 12 hour colorful contour eye pencil in coconut. And I did apply it here on the um, lower eye line just because I want to kind of open up my eyes a little bit more. I feel like I have a pixie one, but I feel like that's kind of expired and I don't want to risk putting expired products in my eyes. So I picked this one up. Um, I really enjoy the formula so far. Um, I do have to be very, very careful whenever I apply like mascara or anything in the water lines just because my eyes have been so incredibly sensitive and prone to just like allergies. Um, next I picked up the Merit Shade Slick Gel Tinted Lip Oil in Maple Tint. Now I did kind of swatch this and there's still a bit of a tint of it here. So I'm not sure if this deposits color, um, but that's the shade here. And I just read some reviews that this contains like pH adjusters. So every shade will kind of adjust to your pH and someone mentioned that they purchased all of them and that all of them changed to like the same shade on on them so I don't know we're gonna put it over top the lawless lip plumper so we'll see what happens here I did not read that at all I just wanted to try this um what is this a lip tinted lip oil because I love, I already love the tinted lip oil. I guess these are gels and these are just the original lip tints. Love these already. I wanted to try something new since it was different. And I guess, I mean, we'll see how this goes for the duration of the video. I think it's about the same color. I'm digging so far, even though I don't think it matches with the rest of the vibes that I have going on today. I'm not even wearing highlighter just because I wanted to keep everything very neutral. But I like the formula so far. It is turning <laughs> a little bit more red as we go. Um, something else that I picked up, you all know that I have been diving into the world of fragrances. Just because I have been making loads of changes in my life since like the butt end of 2021 and I've been kind of on this journey to I guess finding myself and reconnecting. So I picked up the Ellis Brooklyn uh, fragrance in Florist, the mini, just because I don't want to invest in a full size if I am going to hate it. Um, but this is the actual fragrance looks like and it smells delightful. This is a fresh floral. Keynotes here are tuberose petals, golden gardenia, and honeysuckle. I do love a gardenia moment a la Kim Kardashian and this it I feel like it's going to be the scent of spring for me. I I have sprayed myself with this multiple times and oh my god it just it smells so good. It's it's like an elegant, fresh, floral scent. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer if you like. The Fleur Solar Power and Florist. I feel like this is my favorite of the two. Maybe this might be better suited for like really hot, hot summer days. Whereas this is definitely more like a spring, cooler summer day fragrance. Very, very delicious. Very tempted to pick up a full size. I will say that the Sephora uh, that I was in yesterday had the Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 EDP Intense. They had 
I'm not sure if it was in stock, but they had it in store and I, you know, sprayed myself and then walked around. I was like, oh, this smells good. And then I don't always want to purchase big sizes of things without my partner, my boyfriend, smelling it before because, you know, he's going to be around me the most and I want him to smell something good that he likes. And he liked it and I was, I couldn't stop smelling my elbow because that's where I sprayed it. And it smelled so good, like literally cotton candy that it almost reminds me of. The KKW Kendall almost reminds me of this, but that one is more like candy. So I may pick that up, may pick that up. Don't know if I wanna to commit to a full size because that's definitely more of a gourmand. I think that's how you say it. Uh, type fragrance, but it smells so dreamy, so delicious. Ugh. And next I picked up the Isle of Paradise Body Self Tanning Drops. I did use this today mixed in with something else I picked up, the Fleur Missing Person Body Loge. I'm always a sucker for body lotions. Why not pick this up? Because I love the scent already. I have a full size of the fragrance. And I feel like this is one of the richer uh, fragranced body creams that I have in my collection. This is a floral musk, skin musk, bergamot nectar, sheer jasmine, fresh cyclamen, neroli blossom, orange flower. Your base here is sandalwood, Australia oil, blonde wood, and white musk. Um, I do have the Moroccan oil body lotion that I hauled months and months ago and that one I feel like is much lighter but it smells like the Moroccan oil uh, fragrance and this I feel like is richer and you can definitely smell uh, the scent which is a missing person. So I mixed uh, 12 drops of this into the body lotion and I will say that I feel like I am a little bit tanner and I did want to pick up the dark shade because a couple of, I want to say perhaps last summer, I picked up a new Isle of, of Paradise um, body tanning drops, but the tan level was so low that that was kind of disappointing. So I wanted to try the deep ones or the dark ones just because I do love a dark tan. I did also pick up a set of the IGK First Class Charcoal Deco detox dry shampoo and the IGK Beach Club touchable texture spray. Now I wanted to try something different. I do love some dry shampoo just because I try to just wash my hair about two times a week and I feel like it's done a good job. I was just a tiny bit skeptical as I was applying this to like the root of my hair especially right here along the bottom where it tends to be the oiliest, but I am impressed with this. I will say that the scent is not my favorite, not at all, but I did like the scent of the Touchable Texture Spray. I do like this one a lot better. Um, I do just wanna kinda try new things for my hair, and these seemed like a good deal because it was a duo I'm not quite sure how much it retailed for, um, but with the additional discount, you save on buying both and you get the 20% off. The next and final thing I picked up was the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Kit. This retailed for $35 and then you got 20% uh, off. You do get a full size of the Tower 28 mascara and the... Rose Ink Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. Oh, Lip and Cheek in Delphine. Um, I technically just picked this kit up for the Tower 28 um, mascara. I am going to be very, very honest with you. The rest of the items in there are a bonus for me. And I will say that I like the mascara formula so far. I feel like it lengthens, but I'm not seeing much of a, a of it holding a curl. I feel like it lengthens and separates. So I will have to report back as far as does it flake? How does how well does it remove at the end of the day? Um, but so far I am digging this. I will be filming a video immediately after this on my thoughts on this kit, just because I do think that it will come back in stock as it is sold out online. But my Sephora store had 
like I kid you not, maybe 20 to 25 of these kits scattered throughout the entire store. I also picked up the Lancome Sills Booster XL. This is a mascara base for volume. Um, I feel like I've used this in the past, but I, I didn't repurchase it, but I wanted to try something for my uh, lashes just because I, I did. And I don't think this is cruelty free. This is Lancome. So um, I feel like so far I am liking this. I will try to report back in perhaps a favorites video as to how I feel about it using it with different mascaras. So do stay tuned for that. I, I will say that after having this on the lips and chatting with you all for a while, I do like this. I like the color as well. I feel like it would look very, very good on a no makeup makeup day or with like a sleek bun. Delish. So I like this. If you're into peach adjusting lip products, perhaps give these a go. I like it. So that is all I have for today's video. Um, let me know what you all picked up during the sale in the comments down below. I'd really, really love to know. Did we pick up any of the same things? Let me know that in the comments as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, let me organize my thoughts, maybe? I don't know. <laughs>